Welcome to the Mushroom House tutorial part 4. Today we are modeling the bed and the fairy lights. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified when I upload more videos. Let's set the 3D cursor on the floor by pressing shift right click. Now press shift A and choose a plane. Scale that in with S. Make it wider with SX. Let's make it a bit smaller with S. And here I'm just checking that nothing goes through the mushroom stem. Tap into edit mode. Press 1 on your numpad and E to extrude. Tap back into object mode. Shift select the seat of the chair. Press Ctrl L and copy modifiers. Now click on the bed again and set the bevel amount to 0 0.13. Right click and shade smooth. One on your numpad. Scale it up with SC. Let's move it forward with GY and all the way to the left with GX. Now click and drag your mouse over all parts of the mushroom and press H to hide. Select the bed and press SX to scale it in. 7 on your numpad to go to top view. Move the bed over here with GX. And shift right click on top of the bed to set the 3D cursor. Now press shift A and add another plane. Scale that in with S and scale it out with SX. And scale with SY so that the edges almost touches the bed. Select these two edges and press 3 on your numpad for side view and press EC to extrude along the C axis. And now we're gonna add a solidify modifier. And make sure the mattress isn't sticking out. Now 
let's set the thickness to 0.03 and check off the even thickness box. Add a subdivision surface modifier. Set this to 2. And now we need to make some loop cuts to define the edges of the cover. So press Ctrl R and left click and right click to release. Ctrl B to bevel. Let's add another loop cut. Press Ctrl R and bevel with Ctrl B. We also need a loop cut here, so press Ctrl R, left click, drag it down and right click. And do the same back here. Right click and shade smooth. I think I want the cover a bit thicker, so I'm gonna set the thickness to 0.05. Shift right click on the cover to set the 3D cursor. Shift A and let's add a cube. Scale it down with S and with SC and with GC lift it up and let's also scale it with SY Add a subdivision surface modifier. Set them both to 3. Tap into edit mode. And let's add a loop cut with Ctrl R. Add one here as well. Go to vertex mode and shift select all these corner vertices and now with S scale it up and let's also select this middle vertex and with G, C, push it up a bit. Tap back into object mode, right click and shade smooth. Now move it down with GC and I use the white outline as my guide to see where to place it on the blanket. Now go into top view by pressing 7 and with G move the pillow a bit and with R rotate it 
just to make it more natural. Press Shift D to duplicate, G to move it over here and let's scale this pillow down a bit. Press 1 on your numpad, G to move it up here and with R rotate the pillow so that the white edges are touching the pillow and the blanket. Press 3 on your numpad and now rotate the pillow so that the bottom is straight. One on your numpad and with GC move the pillow down to the cover and make sure that the back of the pillow doesn't go through the other pillow. Press Alt H to get your mushroom back. And since we pressed Alt H, you also got the camera back. So click on it and press H to hide. Shift right click under this plank to set the 3D cursor. Press Shift A and we're gonna add a curve and select the path. Scale that in with this. Press 1 on your numpad and with G move it over here. And now over here to the right, click on the green curve and go down to geometry. Click on that and go to bevel. And I think 0 0.05 looks good. Tap into edit mode. Click on the middle segment and with GC drag it down. And left click to place it. Tap into object mode, press G to move it up here and make sure you are still in front view. Tap into edit mode, now click on this segment and press GC to move it up. Tap into edit mode and with G move it behind the ladder.
and with GY let's move it closer to the edge. Tap into edit mode and select this segment and with GUI move it back. So just around here behind the plank. Select this segment and with G move it over here. Press 1 on your numpad, select this back segment and press E to extrude. And move the new segment up here. Left click to place it. Tap into object mode, press shift A and add a sphere. Scale it down with S. Tap into edit mode and click on this vertex. Press shift S and cursor to select it. Tap back into object mode. Right click and set origin to geometry. Now when we scale and rotate it's gonna be from this point. Press 1 on your numpad and with G move it down here. Now right click and shade smooth. And to snap the sphere to the curve, 
shift right click on the curve, select the sphere, press shift S and select the two cursor. And because we set the origin to the top of the sphere, it snaps correctly. I'll press R to rotate and I kind of imagine a line going through the curve and the sphere. I think that's the easiest way to get the angle right. Shift right click here to set the 3D cursor, Shift D to duplicate, Shift S and selection to cursor. One on your numpad and rotate with R. Now repeat. Press Shift S and set cursor to world origin. Shift A and add a plane. And look to the left, it has to fill up the entire camera on the render. And now press A to select all, because you can see here that right now our mushroom is massive. A to select all, and you can see that if you scale, it's going to end up in a weird place. And that's because we have to set this to 3D cursor. And now if you scale, you can see that it scales from the 3D cursor instead. And now we have to redo the camera. So press zero on your numpad. And let's adjust the camera. And if you want the camera to be the exact same as mine, you can type in these values up here and down here. And now we're done modeling and next video we're gonna um, get to materials and lighting and the final render. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified when I upload more videos.